Hey guys, Phil from QP Designs. We're going to take a quick look at the Prey and some safety uh, features and uh, a little bit of knowledge on how to use the Prey mech mod. So we're going to take a look inside. So we have our battery safety warnings. So make sure your battery is perfectly wrapped. You got no peeling or damage, no battery wrap, no good. You know, if there's rust or any corrosion, do not use any batteries in this mech mod. On the back, you have uh, warnings. So you could read that. Make sure you uh, understand mechanical mods and uh, that you're an advanced user. And uh, mechanical mods are not for everybody. So you have to have knowledge and a bit of know-how how to use this. We don't suggest anybody uh, to use a mech mod if you're a beginner. So, uh, or any mech mod from any company in general. Make sure you know how to use a mech mod. So right here we got our black one. You can see this right here. Has a top fire button. So it's direct connection. So it is a hybrid. So you can see right here. So it's directly connected to your battery. So I'll take here as a brass. So if you see right here, this black ring right here, this is what prevents it from making a constant connection. So if you ever have this part that's damaged or broken or missing a piece, do not use it. Contact us so we can send you out another black part here to protect it. So if you're building on this, and which I don't suggest you to do, uh, if you end up touching metal to metal, well, you're going to create the, the link between both and it's going to end up firing because now you're creating basically a constant connection. This is what prevents it from making a constant connection. Also, we're going to look inside underneath. We have a clear ring down here at the bottom. Make sure that this part is installed. You can see there. Down inside, there's a clear ring down here at the bottom. So make sure that is installed and not broken or missing before using it. And it also comes with a spare one. So in your spare parts, you have another clear one right here. So you can see that one right in there. There's a clear one. So you have an extra spare one in case you lose it. Make sure your battery is fully charged and not damaged before using it on a mech mod. And just be careful and be safe. It's not recommended for uh, beginners, so you need to have some experience before using this device. Do not pick it up if you're new and do not know anything about mechanical mods. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.